Okay, I'm still working on the Corvette box, but I thought I'd show you how to uh, I mount my and make my terminal cups. Um, I used to make them by gluing just a block of wood, just like this, uh, on the back side of the box, and then coming over here and drilling two holes. The problem with that was sometimes when you get the glue spread out, uh, it'll like to squirm around. And if it squirms just a little bit this way or a little bit that way, uh, the hole, you know, you might end up with you might end up with that much of it off-centered. You know, it wouldn't be that bad, but it might be a little off-centered. And so for to get it dead perfect, I made a jig. The jig starts by I just make a bunch of these little five-inch blocks out of all my scrap all the time and throw them in a little different basket. Uh, this little jig. Uh, locate every screw for you just rotate it 90 degrees and you will uh, find the exact same spot to get the form the screws all uniform and when you're ready to put this in you just mount this inside the square block and what that does is it locates the exact center of the hole then you take this piece and you put it in there and you run two screws in it and that will hold the block down for you if i can get this done here for you I know exactly where to put my glue on the edges so that the glue won't run off inside the hole and I have a lot of cleanup to do you just flip the piece over and now it's perfectly centered in that hole I mean you can spin it in a circle if you wanted to but um, it'll stay exactly in the center every time uh, so then all you have to do is just run your screws down and you're done now the two screw holes that we just made here's one that I've just got here doing uh, very important in all my boxes. I try to keep all the airflow as smooth as possible. That's why even the uh, corners are rounded over, as you can see. But when you flip this over, this is what you end up with. A very strong terminal cup. And the two holes that I use to screw down the little circular plate will now act like my reference holes for the terminal post that go in here. And the terminal posts have a push button, one on each side. Just like your sub has a push button on the terminals, you get one on this side and you get one on the, the underside. So it's uh, you don't have to deal with any flat blade connectors and soldering. Just push it in the hole and let the spring do the work. 